What's up YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another keto conversation. So let's get started. All right, so today we're going to do something that we haven't done in quite some time. Uh, it's a keto, what's it called? It's just a 20 questions about keto, us. Get to know questions. us. Okay, get to yeah, know us. We haven't done it in almost two years. Yeah, when we first started our channel uh, back in, what was it, 2017 I think? So we started back in 2017. There's a lot, a lot of channels that kind of started around the same time. So one of the channels that in, that are still around, uh, Nona Grace was a channel. So if you don't know Nona Grace, check her out. Uh, Ketolicious Life, <clears throat> she's still around, uh, still going strong. The uh, Keto Mechanic, and then also the Keto Diamond Channel. And so those folks, we all kind of started about the same time and um, all of them are still going strong and so i just want to give a shout out to them so we used to get it was big for people to do what was it tags Tagging. yeah mm -hmm. people would tag each other and this isn't necessarily keto related it's basically more just to get to yeah know this is right these questions aren't just keto related so but the, what, there used to be a three or four years ago a lot of tags and maybe mm -hmm. it still goes on we don't get tagged that much any, anymore uh which is okay <laughs> but um, but that's this is sort of the origin of the first one that we did uh, several years ago. So yeah. we just got some questions, and hopefully you, after you, we get done, you'll know us a little bit better. All right. So what's the first question? How tall are you? How tall am I? I I always write that I'm five ten, five eleven, but I don't think that's accurate. It's probably more like CJ five. is five nine. <laughs> Because I majored you. <laughs> well, why don't you just answer the question? <laughs> well, this just shows you what's on your driver's license and real life's not exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm five nine ish and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> so how tall are you? Five five. Okay. A little over five five, but I keep it at five five. Five five. So yeah, so right. not very tall, not very right. tall at all. But I'm more like five nine with my heels on. So yeah. Yeah. You get pretty tall with your heels. Yep. How old are you? Well, we're older now than when we did it last time. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm 50-ish. And I'm 40-ish. Yeah, and that's as far as we'll go. <laughs> so, favorite color? What's your favorite color? I do not have a favorite color. I like anything that is agonizingly bright. Mm, okay. Bright. Real bright. Yeah, I think uh, I like probably blue is my probably top favorite color and then maybe black after that and then maybe purple yeah i think so. if somebody asked me what your favorite color was i would have said blue yeah, for sure blue. any pretty much any shade of blue you like blue in general don't you yeah pretty yeah. much i like blue yeah favorite season of the year not right now <laughs> yeah so so if you don't know we live in the pacific northwest um, and January and February is the worst. Yeah, I think I heard somebody say today that it rained, I don't know what month it was, maybe it was December or maybe it was the month of January, it rained almost 30 days in a row. And yeah. uh, we actually have, have, haven't had that happen in a long time, where it's no. rained. That used to be the norm when I moved here probably in 1989, that used to be normal for it to rain just constantly for weeks and weeks. Yeah. That actually had some things have changed, but um, yeah, global warming has made things a little bit different. Yeah, we, this time last year we had what was referred to as a snowpocalypse 2019. We actually got a lot of snow yeah. this time. Yeah, and we last don't really year. get a lot of low-level snow. We get a Not lot generally. of snow in the mountains. We have ski resorts. We get a lot of snow in the mountains, but we normally don't get that much. Yeah, snow. if we get a little bit of snow, all the schools are closed. That's yeah. how infrequently it happens. Yeah, even so. a, a inch will get the schools closed here so i like summer summer yes yeah i think i like yeah i think i like summer plus i'm off of work in the summer so that makes it even better because yeah. i work for the school district yeah so <laughs> summer's great. i think i think i like summer and yep. um summer and fall yeah I'll probably i probably have a tie between those two past regrets uh I, I guess really the only regret i have is i used to be in the air force and i got out so, you know, you don't know, you know, when you are, um, you don't know that basically people 
at some point are really just working to get a retirement so they could that you know have funding later in their right. life and so you don't know that so if you have family members that are in the military tell them to stay in and encourage well. them encourage to them to stay in try and retire yeah because yeah. you can you know if you go in relatively young i could have retired at i think i would have been 34. wow or yeah i think it would have been 34. so yeah you can do that that's the only thing i i regret i wish and you... i don't think about it that often until i get a question until like, you get a question until like that. I get a question <laughs> until like you get this. asked yeah <laughs> and i think probably i mean we all have relationship regrets that goes without saying but um, I think probably one of my biggest regrets is not getting a degree of some kind. I've mm -hmm. been to college several times, but I do not have a degree, so I do regret that. I keep telling you to get one. I know. It's never too late. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> you can do it. I got a degree when I was I was four, in my 40s. Well, then I still have time. Or maybe it was late 30s but you know oh, going into well, 40s that. but <laughs> yeah i mean and it was all online i didn't you know you can do stuff online now so now it costs money so of that's, that's and time and time and everything else so that's yeah. that's the thing about getting a degree and uh the benefit of it that's whole that's debatable anyway that's that's not this conversation <laughs> show then and now I don't know what's your favorite show. You watch, you you know more TV stuff than I do. I mean, I, I'm thinking about something. Well, for me, I grew up. You, you had four channels. You had ABC, NBC, um, yeah. PBS. Some I maybe that's only three. Fuck yeah, NBC, ABC, I had ABC CBS, CBS, and and, and you PBS. had to get up and wade across the shag carpeting and do it channel. yourself. Yeah. Right. So. Um, after a time, when I started getting into my early teen years, we ended up with uh, Nick at Night. And so I learned to really love a lot of your more retro TV shows that had been on before I was born, but I really enjoyed them. So things like The Addams Family and The Munsters and um, The Donna Reed Show and all of those probably helped shape who I am as a person as far as... Um, liking casseroles and homemade things and the cleavers and you know all that idealized 50s retro things so mm. and now i like more probably forensic things um criminal shows that kind of thing i like uh, the blacklist but i also like some touchy-feely shows like this is us and things like that so mm. yeah and of course we watch food network television together yeah yeah yeah, so I think my favorite shows is then and now. Uh, I think now, because we don't really watch a lot of TV. We don't really have, so we have some live TV. Like yesterday, we watched four hours of TV with the Super Bowl was on. That is not normal. And that is not normal in our house at all to sit so, down that long and watch. Because even during the time. even during the regular season, it's unusual for us to sit and watch an entire game all the way through and we generally don't watch just football in general we will watch the team that we prefer for the most part yeah we don't yeah. right we're not just watching all football right. games it's got to be the the team that we we root for so um uh, but to get back to the question so i think right now my favorite show is alone mm -hmm. and from the past I want to say the, I think it was called the 4400 or the 3400. It was about these people who got abducted and then they came back to Earth with like superpowers. Um, yeah, like Is all, that where you got your daughter's name from? Uh, sort of. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. But anyway. What were you named after? A TV show? Yeah, well, but she was <laughs> she was the person who was like the most powerful one. Okay, so it's it's a good good name. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so do you have siblings? You can go first. Yes, I do. I am the oldest of three girls, so I have two younger sisters. Mm -hmm. My second sister is twenty one months younger than me, and then the baby of the family. She's six years younger than myself. No brothers. Okay. So. And I have a uh, half-sister who I really didn't grow up with her. I think she lived with me maybe for five or six months one time when I was growing up. But she was, she was an adult uh, 
So she's like one, 20 years She's old probably than 20, you. yeah, maybe even 30 years older than I am. Um, so I do have a half sister and we're not very close. And then, um, so again, as we mentioned, we live in Washington State. So I don't have any immediate family here except my daughter. And, and So essentially you were raised an only child. Yeah, pretty much. I was raised an, an only child. Yeah, I was. All right, so favorite football team. Which, before we go on to the other question, is the reason why I talk over CJ and he doesn't notice it as much as y'all do? Sometimes he does, but see, I came from a very lively family and we still talk over each other, so I try and work on it, but for the most part, that's what happens with this dynamic, so. You can't help it? I can't help it. Yeah. yeah it's genetic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about genetic. I'm going to go with that. Is it genetic? It is. It's oh, genetic. Right. I, yeah. I feel it. It's not genetic. <laughs> But it happens because I think even probably with uh, Sarani and Cindy, it probably happens the same way. Yeah. So, um, but my daughter, so my daughter is, who's not with us all the time, is an only, pretty much an only child. Right, because her half siblings are a lot older They're than They're a lot she older is. and they don't come anymore in the summer. They used to come mm -hmm. in the summer. Uh, but she's pretty much being raised as, a, as an only child as well. And so, yeah, it's just different when you're an only child, mm -hmm. um, you know. Yeah, I don't. You just don't talk as much, period. And then forget about talking over anyone because you don't need to. So, yeah. Yeah. It is different. That's it's a true. Lot more different. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Favorite football team? Well, we live in the Pacific Northwest. So, yeah. if you can't guess that it's the Seahawks. Yeah, then... Seattle Seahawks. So, we're both supporters of the Seahawks. So, when we do watch football, it's usually the Seahawks and... Whoever they're playing. And whoever they're playing. We don't generally just sit down and watch. We did watch the playoff games, of course, and the Super Bowl. Because, yeah. you know. We watched the Super Bowl, and we did not feel any sorrow for the San Francisco 49ers, <laughs> who happened to be in, in the our same division. division as the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> we felt no, no sorrow for them. And uh, 49ers fans, do not come after us, please. We, we, <laughs> we kind of reveled in the... <laughs> of the 40 dollars no, and we don't have anything against the 49ers it's just they're in our division and so if we can't if we couldn't be there nope we had to be somebody else be yep <laughs> we felt the same way last year with the rams as well so nothing personal just all just football that's right all right so what country would you like to visit well, I think when we first started dating, you showed me The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, the remake. Um, not the one with Danny Kay, but the one, um, the most current one. And of course, it, it takes place in Iceland. And so ever since that movie, I've had a great yeah. desire to visit Iceland. It just looks so beautiful there. And they have so many natural wonders. I think when I travel personally, I like to travel um, to places where I can see things like landmarks and... Um, natural monuments and things like that over just going to a resort and kind of like laying around. I prefer to go like when CJ and I visited Hawaii this last year. We went to the Big Island because we wanted to go to Volcanoes National Park yeah. and to see some of the natural wonders, not just lay on the beach. That's great too, but I like to go places where I can visually see things. Yeah, but I, I will say that that, that personally wore me out seeing because we tried to see everything and i was beat because basically you can do the entire island in like two hour increments because it's not that large yeah and so we we drove to each corner of the island each day because we were there for four days so yeah. yeah and it was you needed some time to recuperate yeah so. and we did a couple of videos there while we were there as well so i'll try uh, not to so. to wear you out as much in mexico i think just yeah. chichen Itza is the only thing the mayan ruins that i want to see there that's yeah. not laying out on the beach so let's see my favorite country to visit probably iceland uh i'd like to go to australia so we, we were talking about that last night and then um i want to go to costa rica mm -hmm. And we actually know someone who lives in Costa Rica, so we actually could go down there and have somebody that can show us around if he was there, if you know, if we, if we could time it right. But we could, I've always heard good things about Costa Rica as well, and so, so I like to go. Uh, I have a drone, so if we ever go to Iceland, I'm, I would just be super excited about flying the drone and seeing what I could get, you know. So I would go to Iceland and look around, and CJ and his drone would be somewhere else touring Iceland. Yeah. 
Well, we, we would keep a bet. All right. Favorite holiday. Favorite holiday. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I would say, for me, uh, Martin Luther King Day. And that's just because I grew up in Washington, D.C., where it was a holiday for, I mean, for years before it became a national holiday. And, and you was, actually marched and to I was make part it. Of, right, I was part of the, I guess, the movement to make that a national holiday in the, in Washington, D.C. So, so he always tells the girls, you know, you get this day off from school because of me. That's right. <laughs> you, you ought to thank me. And so, you know, I'm not, and I'm, I'm not saying that to, it's, it's just, it's near and dear to me because I remember right. being in high school and it's in January. So I remember being out in, in the marching In Washington, D.C. It's not warm in January. Yeah. And <laughs> snow coming down and we're marching parades with Stevie Wonder and, you know, doing stuff to try to make that a national holiday. So that, that holds a special place for me. Uh, what about you? Well, I've only been celebrating holidays for about five years since we started seeing each other. And so I'm like a five-year-old. So every holiday is exciting. And it probably will be for a long time. <laughs> so I like them all. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You hadn't celebrated. Yeah, in fact, you had never had a birthday party nope. until we met. Not until I met you. Yeah. So I grew up in a religiously restrictive household. And so I wasn't until I was in my, until my 40th birthday party. Yeah. And, you know, now we're trying to figure out how to kind of meld. So me, I've been celebrating like Christmas forever. And I've kind of got this certain way you do stuff at Christmas, you know, with the gifts. And, tradition is you know, a big I've deal. Got tradition. Yeah. So like one of the things we were talking about this year was the whole. When you put your presents under the tree. When you put your tree out, so your presents out. So like my tradition is you, you, you hide everything. Then you start wrapping at the last minute. Like then, the the night before Christmas. And then Christmas, you put everything under the tree <laughs> the night at Christmas Eve. When everybody and see, I buy and wrap as I buy. Yeah. And then, but to me, it worked to my advantage because it helps my children behave. Mm. You've got Christmas coming. Look at all those presents. You better be good. All of that kind of stuff. So to me, it it helps build anticipation and also encourages polite seasonal behavior so hmm, okay but everybody's different traditions are different yeah traditions so. are different so that's that's something actually that we're kind of working through <laughs> uh let's see burger king or mcdonald's neither one neither one mm -mm. like wendy's if we're gonna do fast food yeah like wendy's. if we're gonna do fast food and with keto because that's what we do mm -hmm. it would be wendy's and dave's triple yeah dave's triple or great dave's no bun. double no ketchup um I guess if I did have to choose between Burger King and McDonald's, I would probably go with Burger King. But generally, we, we don't. You do just it. get um, do, do the beef anything. is fresher. You get more of it, and at it's Wendy's. the same. It's the same price. Yeah, at Wendy's. yeah. And we really actually consistent. find it cheaper for our family because of what that four for four. Right, because deal. our children can eat um, fairly inexpensively. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're we're big fans of Wendy. So that's where we go if we go to just a fast food type restaurant. Yeah. Generally, uh, favorite number. Uh, I don't really have a favorite number. Maybe. I don't. Mm -mm. Uh, fourteen. I like seven. Yeah. But it's not anything that's like. Yeah. An obsession. Know. Right. I, don't, I, just, <laughs> I just pulled out of yeah. the top of my head. Oh yeah. And by the way, there's only twenty one questions. So. Is there 21? There's only 20. Oh, there's 20 questions. Okay. We can, we can answer an additional question. Uh, what's, what's your obsession? Uh, I guess I would probably say just trying to build a YouTube channel. I get obsessed about that and trying to... Do you have anything that's a hobby? Yeah, building a YouTube channel. <laughs> that's not a hobby, that's a job. It's not a job, it's... A, it's, it's you know, it's it's something that we, I enjoy doing, and I hope one day that we can start another channel about something totally different. But that's just you know, we do have jobs, full time jobs. That's right. So I think the only other thing. So before YouTube, though, uh, I was doing. Um, so before YouTube, I was doing uh, photography. Right. So it wasn't that far of a, far of a reach to have the camera and it just went from the video you know we do videos now versus taking pictures right and a lot of the things that you see in our videos the before you know before the video starts and some of these scenes after the video is over 
are are photographs and scenes that CJ has taken over the years. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I've got thousands and thousands of photographs that are just sitting around. There's a couple that I want to actually try to sell. So there's, not, and we have quite a bit hanging in our house. Yeah, not well. necessarily on YouTube, but I'm just there's yeah. one that I look at every uh, in our bedroom at of Seattle skyline in Seattle. I'm like, man, that's a good picture. Yeah, it is a good picture. Like, that's wow. why I hung it up. I'm like, wow. That's <laughs> when I moved in, <laughs> I'm like, that's a good picture if I have to say so myself. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, where are we at? Are you gonna let me answer my obsession? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Talking over, I was talking over you. <laughs> what do you? What would you say is my obsession? Shoes. Okay, you know me very well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to build one to our house for another closet for shoes. <laughs> oh, you can. We could get a pod. <laughs> and put it in the yard. Yeah. I don't complain though. I like. No, you do not complain. Like, Amazingly, complain. you never have complained. So. No, nope. I like you. Like you are, like what you wear, like I wear. I mean, and believe it or not, she dresses like this all the time. So this is not a get up for YouTube. It's not. It's and people don't get that. But that is Sarah's always been like that ever since I met her. Mm -hmm. Had nothing to do with. I'm a you, fancy person. Had nothing to do with YouTube. Had nothing to do nope. with anything. It had to just do with that's how she is. And that's so, how I am. Yep. Um, in fact, I have to most most of the time. I have to kind of dress up. So I can keep up with her, especially when we go out. <laughs> so, all right. Where okay. Are we at? So, are you a procrastinator? I don't think I am now. I used to be, but I think this whole the experience of trying to build a YouTube channel and and the blog. Well, you have expectations. It's it's helped me to you know learn how to not procrastinate and how to get things done. So time management. Yeah, it's helped me, and and you know you just learn that. You got to get things done by a certain time, and uh, and it's all self, self. Right, it is a self pressure. thing. It's right. not. It's not anybody. Nobody making a YouTube doesn't care if we put up a video or not. No. Nope. Um, nope. But it's all just so that I don't think I'm a procrastinator now, and I think I, I'm, I, I think, think I'm getting better. Naturally, I tend towards procrastination. Um, both of my parents are procrastinators. Love you, mom and dad. But I, I do try and work on it. But I, I do come naturally to procrastination. So I do have to deliberately work on it. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah, but I, I have to work on it too. But I, I but again, I think, uh, you know, last year I talked about on our channel about having a planner and using it. And then I kind of went away probably by the month of, I don't know, April. I might have been using it by <laughs> April. Well, this year I got another type of planner, planning system. And I've been, I'm still, this is the second month. I'm still working through it, still trying to use it. So, you know, procrastination, I think, is just something you just keep working on. Yeah. You just, just something you have to just tackle and yeah. keep working on. That's true. So, all right. Did you go to the prom? Uh, I did. I went to the prom. I went to my junior high school prom. And then I went to my high school prom. I think the junior high school one is the photograph I have, maybe. I we can know. put it up. I don't know. You can see young CJ. Yeah. <laughs> I did not go to the prom. Any of my proms. Junior, senior, junior highs. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I did. Maybe that's why I dress up all the time now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. did, did you, you go, go to college? college? Did you go to college? So I went to college. I mentioned earlier I went to college much later in life uh, to kind of get a degree that was related to my profession and so yeah sure I did. I've been to college a couple of times I have not gotten a degree though as was mentioned earlier but I have been to college a couple of times and I do um, have several I got certifications in several fields but just not a degree right so yeah. Are you picky about hotels? Yeah um, yeah of course I don't why, think, why I don't I think we're picky. I am. Are you? Oh yeah, I'm picky about hotels. I when I go to a hotel, I'm looking around at who's there, <laughs> how many people are look like they're living there. Okay. It depends on the level of hotels. So, so you're picky about the hotel surroundings, yes, not the the actual accommodations themselves. Well, I'm picky about mm. that too. Okay. So like we went to Eugene. I think that might have been the last hotel we stayed in. It was because it was summertime in, in and Eugene, it was um, parental uh, exchange. My daughter's in, went in to Eugene, see Eugene, Oregon. And mm -hmm. so I'm 
you know, I think you picked this one out. I think I think you picked it out, right? Because it was booking booking.com. It was inexpensive. <laughs> Which was also the San Juan Hotel was also Oh booking. yeah. <laughs> so that's true. And so yeah, I'm always like I go to a hotel, I'm looking at okay, who's there? Does it look like a bunch of people are living there? I think we've been <coughs> more satisfied with our, our Airbnb experiences yeah. than yeah, actual yeah. hotels, if, to be completely honest. I'm looking, the, I'm some... looking at the hotel. Is this a place where, where the locals come and hook up? Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's when people, if, if it's cheap enough for, for people to do that, they will do it. And that brings mm -hmm. a different type of people, you know, different right. type of crowd. So. Yeah. I am picky about hotels, probably more so than you are. So. Yeah, I think so. Dream car. Uh, I'll just say right now, probably a um, a Tesla. Something. I was gonna say it used to be Tesla, but I, I thought Tesla maybe it something, changed. Something I don't I don't know if it's necessary a dream car. I mean, I like cars, and one day I'd like to to get a Tesla, but I don't know if it would necessarily be the be all and the end all car. Like, oh my God, this would be the, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never been much of a car person myself either. I'm not much of a car person. I think if someone said you could pick something right now, I would pick a muscle car from the late sixties, early seventies, because I yeah. really like that style of car. So yeah. I just like the simplicity, the rumble, all of that just the classic nature of it so i would definitely say something like that versus something modern no i wouldn't mind having something like a like a 60 like a 63 62 no a lincoln continental mm -hmm. but if i had one of those it would, i'd lower it down it'd be You'd black pimp it out yeah so it'd be, <laughs> it would be it would be put black. on your huggy bear outfit and... <laughs> Yeah, I'd borrow some of your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> borrow some of your stuff. <laughs> Look, I'll have any leopard stuff. So yeah. I'll get it from you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, do you like country music? Oh, I like some country music. Yeah, sure. Well, CJ did live in Texas for a little while when he was in the Air Force. You yeah. have been exposed I lived to in, some. Yeah, I lived music. in Texas. I lived in Fort Worth or outside of Fort Worth, Texas for mm, three almost four years so I was exposed to, to country music but I, but my musical background is pretty diverse anyway though I mean I grew up listening to uh, yeah some R&B but I also grew up listening to I think I know more R&B than you yeah do. you probably do you know probably more R&B I grew up listening to uh, pop stuff right you know? and you got involved in a lot of gospel and stuff well yeah I yeah. grew up yeah, I grew up listening to, I grew up in Washington, D.C., so gospel music was, uh, I mean, they have gospel music radio stations, so I was in church choirs and all that, so, but I, but to answer the question, yes, I like country music, some of it, if it's too twangy, then I can, you know, pass, but. And I love country music, <laughs> old and new, <laughs> so, yes, I absolutely love country music. Yeah. For sure. It is one of my very favorite genres. So, yeah, yeah, I can attest to that. Yes, and he has kindly put some on his music list. So when we're taking vacations together with the girls, because my girls like it and his daughter likes it as well, so we yeah. will listen to it when we go on vacation. What's that one song? Uh, let's talk about me. I want to talk about me. Talk Toby about Keith. Toby Keith. I like that song. <laughs> yeah, it's probably good. So that's how you feel. Let's <laughs> yeah, talk yeah. about me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, last question is, what would you do if you won the lotto? Uh, let's see. So, if I won the lotto, I wouldn't quit my job immediately. Um, I think I would figure out number one how to manage the money. Uh, that would be the first thing I would do. So, but I would let them know that my uh, your tenure there my, is short. It's short. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't it's, make me mad. <laughs> right. So if my attitude has changed, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, you know, just just one time I can be out of here and I won't even take my stuff with me. <laughs> so, uh, so I would do that and then I think I would probably pay off, well, my parents' house is paid off, your parents' house is paid off. Yeah. Um, we'd pay off our house and yes. then we would probably, I'd do some chari charitable things. We probably would get a house that suits our needs a little yeah. bit more than this one. 
Yeah, we would. Right, because um, there's five of us living in 900 square feet. So yeah, it's so it's kind of small. With with three daughters only getting older, we probably could use an extra bathroom for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I think we can use more than an extra bathroom. <laughs> more than one, yeah. Yeah, uh, so... So I mean that's I mean that's just some of the stuff I would do. I mean of course yeah we'd take trips. We'd, I was gonna say travel. We'd, we'd travel. Yeah. We'd do some things. But there's been always some charitable things that I've always wanted to do. Maybe start a foundation to help you know kids or folks. Maybe try to help figure out how to tackle some societal issues issues like homelessness. You know we could help with that and we could do some of that now mm -hmm. without even winning the lotto. But uh, things like that. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I agree with all those. I think I would um, take a few vacations and learn how to manage money. Learn how to manage a lot of money. So, but I think taking some time off right off the top would be something that I would want to do and just kind of let everything sink in. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't th and I don't think we would make a big deal about it. I don't mm -hmm. think we would be advertising that we had won. No. In fact, you probably wouldn't even know. Mm -mm. that that we want anything yeah um, yeah we would probably be pretty low-key I don't know would you tell your family probably my immediate family but yeah. that's about it yeah yeah I might tell my family but I've got a lot of family that I don't even know uh, especially in Georgia yeah I got a lot of family that I don't even know right them. cousins and, and so no I, nothing that is immediate family they're just, yeah I'd be yeah I'd be Kind of like, mm, I don't know about how much I would tell people. <laughs> because then the hands come out. Because there'd be out. all kinds of people coming out of the world. <laughs> hey, you got but, money. Which is fine. That's, that's just the nature of it's if you want a lot expected. of money. So, yeah. But I think that would be some of the stuff that I would do. So those were 20 questions to kind of get to know us. Hopefully so it helps So there's a little bit us. about us. Yeah, a little bit about us. And I guess if there's any questions... We didn't answer. I guess you could ask it. You can ask it. <laughs> we might answer it, depending on how personal That's it is. True. That's true. <laughs> and then if, if folks are interested in maybe us doing some kind of live... Where you could ask us questions. Premiere kind of deal. Live. We could... We, we're, we've we been knock, knocking that around. For us, it's just a matter of scheduling and time. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah works graveyard shift. And even on the weekends, you know, you get, she gets off at, what? Six six thirty, and then I get off at six thirty, and then it takes me at least a half hour to get home, so I don't get home until seven o'clock. Yeah, and then so. you're sleeping until noon, so mm -hmm. it's kind of for us. It's one of these. So Sunday, either Saturday evening or probably it's, Sunday. It's more of a would. scheduling thing, and then on Saturday morning when she's coming to bed, I'm getting up, and we're scrambling to get the videos done for right. Sunday. And so for us, you know, doing something like a live event or a premiere, YouTube premiere, it's not that it's. Un, not doable it's just for us we gotta schedule it and really right. plan it out so if people are interested let us know uh in the comments below and then we can try to figure out how to do that so we, we wanted to say thank you for watching yeah. if you're new here this is our weekly keto conversation segment where we talk about uh keto re relevant keto topics this week was a little bit different yeah this was we, just for fun we do some food unboxings uh once a month so consider subscribing. We do new recipes every Sunday. Mm -hmm. So consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of our keto family. Um, yeah, we'll see you next week if you're here. So please be here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Peace. Peace.